there is nothing quite like the first Space Marine game. In September of 2011, THQ Nordic published a third-person shooter set in the Warhammer 40k universe, and it was like no other. Relic Entertainment, the developers, have been around this IP for quite some time, most notably working back on that ever-loved RTS, Dawn of War. The Dawn of War RTS, of course, has had some issues with more recent additions, yet it was one of the founding fathers of real-time strategies of the early 2000s. Yet the first Space Marine game, despite being over a decade old now, still has an incredibly popular fanbase surrounding it, yet often it was seen as a one-off game. However, late 2021, a cinematic announcement trailer was released and it took the internet by storm. Okay, maybe not quite, but some people thought it looked kind of cool. Yet now, we have a new behind the scenes look at Space Marine 2, and my god, does it look better than you think. The first Space Marine game released on the 9th of September 2011. It was a third person hack and slash shooter in the Warhammer 40k universe. Following Titus, players would head through a plethora of intense linear missions, killing Gretchens, Orcs and later Chaos. The combat was good enough. As mentioned, it was very much like a hack and slash game. Being able to mash buttons was definitely a possibility and with medium, stun and heavy attacks adding some variety to the combat, it was never great groundbreaking. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't just about melee smashing into poor Gretchens. The base game was actually surrounding the link between close combat and innovative, insane weapons of the 40k world. Shooting bolters, bolt guns, giving player real power, later unlocking chainsaws, rockets and snipers. Being able to use the gained jump packs to traverse more vertical levels as you go throughout the campaign and later on in the game. It was all round a pretty decent gaming experience, especially for a third person title back in the day. But as mentioned, it was never game changing in terms of mechanical innovations. Yet the first Space Marine was still incredibly well received, at least by players. I mean, at the time, I'm sure many might be surprised to know, but reception from critics was average at best. Most review sites stating how it kind of lacked content and it didn't really do anything in terms of actual advancements on the third person genre. But players really, really loved it. Mostly, I think, down to the lack of an actual decent Warhammer 40k game at the time, it was a real breath of fresh air. Yet since there was such a massive love for the game, why was there never a sequel any time sooner? Why was the franchise not already established? Well, Space Marine 2 was actually supposed to come sooner than you might think. There were two sequels planned back in the day, yet these were cancelled due to, well, THQ Nordic went bankrupt. That'll do it. But THQ, don't worry, they later came back and now they're doing better than ever. But the Space Marine 40k license was gone. Relic and THQ were a fantastic team for the job, but now there are some new kids on the block, at least for this franchise. The new Space Marine 2 will be developed by Sabre Interactive and published by Focus Home, two studios famous for the Crisis Insane remaster we got a few years back and, well, I think Focus Home actually published Farming Simulator? Okay, that, that one doesn't quite fit. But the title itself was announced on the 9th of December 2021, over a decade after the first game, with one of the greatest cinematic trailers of all time. Imperial guards being overrun by the Tyranids, men dropping left, right and centre. All hope seems lost then. From above, much like the opening of the first game, Titus and his ultramarines crash down from the skies, taking instant command, slicing through beast after beast, bolt gun and chainsaw at the ready and causing ultimate chaos with the most stoic of demeanors. The Imperial Guard look on in awe, powerful titans towering over everything on the battlefield. They'd heard stories of such ultramarines, yet seeing one in person, or seeing a squad even in person, was something only few will ever experience in their lifetime. Titus looks into the raging war on ahead, knowing that there are quests and campaigns to come. It's not going to be easy, but they know they were trained for this. Taking off his helm, giving that reveal we were all waiting for. Oh my god, was this exciting. 
after that cinematic trailer, we actually did get a few snippets of gameplay at the time. It looks like we're going to be returning to that very much iconic third person hacky and slashy combat, powerful weaponry, and this time in some of the best graphics that I've seen in a Warhammer 40k game. More recently, we got a dev diary showing off some of the behind the scenes for the title. Unfortunately, Mark Strong is not going to be coming back. He was voice acting the ever strong Titus back in the day, and it kind of made the first Space Marine. He almost embodied the role of Titus and the Ultramarines, yet that role has now been recast. Clive Standen stands in to take up the mantle from Mark Strong. Clive is most known for his roles in Taken, the TV show, not the better films, but he did do some good things. The uh, B B Vikings, he was in that. He played Rolo, not, not the chocolate, the... Uh, <sighs> Rest in peace, Rolo. Everything is now pointing towards the game being, well, actually good. The nostalgia is still there. The fan base is as big as ever for Warhammer in general, and it has really been a lot of time since a good 40k game came out. Well, at least for a lot of people. I mean, we get a lot of Warhammer strategy games that are pretty decent, but it's going to be really refreshing to have something a bit faster paced, more in the battle itself, getting down and dirty with the troops rather than just looking from above. I mean, don't get me wrong, Slytherin are a company that make all these Warhammer 40k turn-based strategies and they do a great job of it and most of them are pretty well received but Jesus Christ am I kind of tired of getting excited seeing a new Warhammer 40k trailer then finding out it's just a turn-based strategy. Whilst there are a lot of things to be excited for with Space Marine 2 there's also a decent amount to be skeptical of. I mean think about it a sequel coming out over 10 years after the first game that's often never really a good sign especially when it's completely different developers that might not hit the mark they might not recapture what made the first one good but I still think there's some hope. Whilst this skepticism is very much warranted and it is there for me as well, I think there's a real good amount of experience here with not just first person game development, not just Warhammer in general, but also people that seem to really love the franchise. What you want with this kind of game are there a developer that really cares about what they're trying to recreate. The lore behind Warhammer and especially 40k is so deep and they seem to know what they're doing, especially Clive Standen who has already said he's a massive Warhammer fan. So hopefully he can pick up that Mark Strong mantle and make it his own as well. At least for now, the good signs are there, but they're a little bit tentative. I personally am really looking forward towards Space Marine 2. Currently there is no release date for the game, but I think it's probably safe to say potentially next year we might be getting it. I'm hoping to have a full single player campaign experience like the first, maybe the possibility of some multiplayer elements or even a co-op in there, whilst that wasn't really a part of the first game, at least in a big way, it is 2022 and it seems like every game has to have some sort of co-op or multiplayer variant and I think we could probably expect it within a Space Marine 2, but I guess only time will tell. But let me know what you think, are you looking forward to Space Marine? Two and do you think it's going to hold up to the original game? Is there still that fan base and hype for the 2011 third person classic? Let me know down in the comments below. But until then, I will see you in the next one.